Shane Watson here from Boxing Live. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Dave Coldwell. How you doing, mate? Right? How are you? Long okay. time I see. Yeah. Um, obviously, a big fight night ahead for Zora to come back on the scene, announce himself like an heavyweight scene. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a lot of crazy talk right now. Yeah. I know you as a trainer, you won't even be thinking about that right now. No. You've got a job to do on it's Saturday not, night. It's not, it's not my job, you know. Um, David Hayes is his manager. Eddie is promoting him. Let them to discuss whatever has to be done after Saturday night. That's their job. My job and Derek's job is, is to make sure that he wins on Saturday night and that's all that matters really. What kind of uh, test do you expect from Gashu? We've seen a little bit of him before, he's obviously tough. You know he's only going to come and fight one way. And which is always style as well, it seems like a style that will clash. Um, Gashi against Takam was on three days notice yeah. and he put up a good fight. He, you know, he, 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 he fiddled him around a little bit and, and he, he, he caught him back with shots and he wasn't, wasn't intimidated but he knew that he didn't have much in the tank. Yeah. And, and he, he went down swinging, he kept, he kept trying. Um, so you can't really look at him in that fight. Gashi against Schwartz, Tom Short, Schwartz, who's fighting Tyson Fury next, um, he was winning that fight yeah. and then is is some reason his, his head in crew came undone and and yeah. then he ended up sticking his head in and, and getting disqualified um but that was more of a reflection of what he's like very game but you know he likes his right hands um he can fight it's gonna be a tough fight it's a lot a lot tougher than what a lot of people think a lot of people seem to think this is an easy fight the problem is that you get is when when people haven't heard of somebody they think yeah. it's, it's it's a nobody it's a tough fight he turned up at the press conference yesterday suiting and booted looking a million dollars you know it looks in great shape He's ready. You don't you don't come looking like that unless you're here to give it everything you got. You know, it's a sort tough of fight. To him, this is this kind of world title fight. Yes. For him, because yeah. he knows yeah. a win against Azura yeah. puts him onto great things in yeah. boxing. Yeah. And that that's what so this get that extra twenty percent out of him. Yeah. And maybe any other fight. That's him. that's the thing. It's like when you have a um, you know a, a, a low league team playing a, a Premier Club in an FA Cup. You know, yeah. something they've never you know, they're not going to get that opportunity again. But it's a window for them to, to progress and, and, and to have, have go down in, in, in folklore for their fans. Yeah. Gasha beats Chisora. Not only does he does he get to go back home and be a big hero, he puts his name into a, into a mix at the moment that's just yeah. getting blended up with all these names. Who's going to fight? Who's gonna, because the top four aren't fighting each other, it means that they've got to pick somebody else from the rest of the division. And if you can jostle your way into into a good position where you've got a bit of a name, bit, you know, you're coming off for a good performance, you can be in there with a big big money fight and a, a massive opportunity. Of course. And um, with Chisora, how's it been uh, training him? We, we know yeah, that sometimes yeah. he's very unpredictable. No. And stuff like that. Has it been great to have him? He's him? been he's been really good. I can, honestly, under my heart, he's been great to work with. I've really enjoyed working with him. I didn't expect it to be like it has been. I thought it was going to be a lot of pumping of heads and. Um, I thought it was going to cause me a lot more stress, and, and that's why I was kind of like, uh, do I do I or don't I do it? Um, but he's been great. He's, he's 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 had the same sort of mentality of, of when Tony Bellew came to me, where everyone was thinking, oh, this will be you know he's going to be hard work, and turned out to be a dream to work with. You know, um, these fighters want to succeed, and yeah. if you're gonna like Tony did coming from Liverpool, if Derek's going to come from London and miss out on his family time and things like that, and dig up and and rebase, relocate. If you're going to do things like that, then you're going to give it 100 percent because yeah. otherwise, what's the point? Yeah. And yeah. and he's given it 100 percent, and it's it's been very very good. It's been great for the gym. The atmosphere has been brilliant. It's been good. A little bit on Anthony Fowler. Obviously, yeah. suffered a um, yeah. uh, a bit of an upset defeat. Yeah. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, no shame at all. He's a credit for taking the fight so early on. Yeah. And um, how is he dealing with the defeat mentally? <laughs> good, good. Um, do you know what? Right away, uh, immediately, he, his mentality and, and how he handled it in the ring. What he said to me straight, the first thing that he said to me straight after, I was happy with. And he understands that he, he understands why he lost. He understands that the things that have been saying to him for eighteen months. Yeah. There you go. You know. Um, and it's it's giving him a reality check. The problem is is that sometimes some of these Olympians they think and it's not knocking them being fantastic, but they think that they can do straight away in the professional game what they've been doing in the amateurs. It's a different game, and because they're Olympians, they're getting rushed quicker. So whereas if you're a non-Olympian, you're not some superstar amateur, yeah. you get the chance to learn and to yeah. develop. These guys are getting into big big fights in in ten fights or less. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, you know it, it's. It is what it is, and, and you have to be able to learn from it, and otherwise you don't progress. And 
hopefully he's going to learn from it. He seems to be learning from it, and, and mentally he's fine. But he's got to be able to show it when he fights again, because he's already showed it in the gym. Yeah. But he has to be able to show it in the fight, and and that's what we're going to see. Um, no, it's, I re realised yesterday, um, Tony Valle is starting to manage yes. quite as well. He's, he has, he's, he's managed Craig, um, Craig Glover since the beginning of his career, so it's nothing yeah. new. It's just he's starting, you know, it's, it, it, it's, if, he, if he has a connection with a kid, then he wants to, look, he wants to help him, wants to look after him. It's nothing, it's nothing about him wanting to make money or do anything like that. It's, he wants to help these kids because he's in a position where he can open a lot of doors that a lot, a lot of other people can't because yeah. of his name and what he's achieved. So, uh, prediction ahead of fight night, Lucas Brown and Dave Allen, how do you expect that fight? Dave Allen. Do you think you'll win by knockout as well? Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. I think Lucas Brown, you know, he's, he's not, he's not, he doesn't seem to be the fighter that he once was. Um, he's always got that punch, but Dave Allen's got a good chin. Um, Dave Allen's up for it, he's throwing punches now, he's looking great in, in training. Um, and he's he's got the stage set, his main event at the O2. Yeah, yeah. He's had so many chances before. But this is the one where his main event at the O2, he can't fail. You know, he's prepared, right? So on the fight night, he's going to go out there and, and, and let his hands go. And we're going to see a good fight, however yeah, yeah, long yeah. it lasts. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be great to watch. But I, I, I would be surprised, very surprised, if Dave Allen didn't go out there and do it. Because I know from, from years back, the first time I saw him, kid can fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's just not been letting. He's, he's been lazy. He's been, you know, and, and he, he said exactly what he is in in um, in the press conference yesterday. I think that's as a coach, I can't help but be pissed off at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you give, you're getting opportunities and you're not training right, right. And so I, I, yes, I like him as a person. I like. I think he's funny. I think he's, he's hilarious. He's brilliant. But I can't help but also be pissed off at that yeah. because I think, well, you've had these opportunities. Now you have one more major opportunity, you have the biggest opportunity of your career. Yeah. Now let's see what you're about. And if if you go out there and do what you're capable of, then all the past is, is gone. That's yeah. it, it's done. Because now you now moving forward, this is your career. Yeah. Okay, well thanks for talking to Boxing Night. Cheers, it's great to have you again.